everyone, welcome to Minerals, Rocks, and Fossil Talks. This will be the last of the new segments that I'm adding. We'll call it Dumb Question of the Week. Like every expert, we get dumb questions sent our way. Now, most questions are not dumb. I don't call it a dumb question unless the same person has asked me more than once expecting the same answer. And believe me, I have met people like this. And I have watched other people on the internet argue with people like this because I don't see the point in arguing with them. However, I see these people as a perfect teaching opportunity for people who do actually want to learn about these things. The first one I'm gonna do for this is the ever popular and most common question my colleagues and I get. Can you identify this dinosaur egg? Not is it a dinosaur egg, but can you identify this dinosaur egg? And then they give a picture like this one. All right, so I'm gonna shift off to the side here so you guys can see this. So I can see where they're coming from. It very much does look like an egg. Just because it is round and has that crack pattern on it though, this, this crack pattern, does not mean that it's an egg. In fact, just looking at the shape, the fact that the eggshell is the same color as the internal, that, that immediately screams that concretion to me. What you're seeing here is actually an erosional pattern that I can go into more detail with later if you guys want a better explanation. Know that this is, this is a concretion, um, and eggs are very delicate. You're almost never going to find them in that condition. They'll be flattened, shattered more often than not, and there are very few places on Earth where you can find dinosaur eggs just because of the way that they need to be preserved. Because they're made out of calcium, um, calcium, wow. Yes, calcium. They're made out of aragonite, which is a calcium carbonate, a little bit of magnesium. They dissolve really easy. So when they get buried and if the groundwater is silica rich, it will dissolve and there will be nothing left. So you have to be in very, very specific circumstances in order to even get the egg. Um, now, I don't have enough time to explain how you recognize an egg, but I am going to put a link in here to my friend's egg guide. He is an egg expert. This is what he does for a living. He studies eggs and all of this, but he made a guide to try and help people recognize what they are finding out in the field. He has a basic one and an advanced one. So go check those out on, at the link of the Fossil Forum and have a good weekend.